So the hero's burden is now dropping an iron banner. I managed to get pretty much the exact roll I wanted, at least when it comes to the first two perks. So I want to talk about this weapon a little bit, because I really do believe it allows for more options when it comes to the void subclass. We never really had a void perk that enabled subclass verbs like this before, mostly due to how much easier it was to proc things like volatile rounds on void compared to something like solar and arc, where it's almost required to have the volt shot or incandescent perk to fully utilize those subclasses. Void never really had this issue. You can use something like a funnel web and get almost max benefits with the subclass. That being said, it wasn't exactly a perfect solution, since applying volatile was mostly tied to how rapid you can get your grenade or melee back. And especially now with the ability nerfs in season 20, it's a bit harder to do that. Having this weapon with this perk really does open doors to what you can do with Void again. Especially now with some of the new fragments such as Echo of Cessation, where defeating a volatile enemy creates Void Breaches, you can really do a lot with this weapon without relying on abilities. And it being tied to an adaptive frame 900 RPM weapon, this thing absolutely shreds red bar enemies. The gameplay you're going to see in this video is from a solo vanguard strike, in which you're minus 5 under light. I try not to proc volatile rounds from my abilities as much as possible in this footage, just so you can see how well this weapon performs. And as you can see from the footage, this perk works very similar to the perk Incandescent. There are visible explosions on kills. It doesn't do damage, but it does apply volatile, similar to how Incandescent applies Scorch to its targets. Something I've noticed is you can't seem to spam it like you can with Incandescent. There seems to be around a 3 second cooldown, so that's something to keep in mind. But in harder content where you aren't getting as many rapid kills, this shouldn't be as noticeable. The best way to utilize this weapon is to use it to add Volatile, so you can spawn Void Breaches and have more ways to get Devour with something like Echo of Harvest. On top of it being a very good ad control weapon, there really is a lot of different enablers for this. Hunters, for example, don't need to rely on Grafalcon's Harbor to gain Volatile. It makes the Omnioculus playstyle more effective, which is already an S tier plus exotic. Warlocks don't need to rely on Feed the Void to get Devour, since Void Breaches and Orbs of Power will do that for you. Titans will be able to use Controlled Demolition more frequently for more health regen on top of more Devour procs. So to talk about this weapon's perks a little bit, for the left column perks, I don't really think there's any bad choices here. I personally am only interested in two if you're really trying to be optimal. Feeding Frenzy is probably the best choice. The footage you're seeing right now is with destabilizing rounds and Feeding Frenzy. You can really see how fast the reload is with these combinations. It also pairs really well with the Origin trait, which will reduce flinch and increase handling for 5 seconds every time you reload. That being said, the stabilizing rounds is the most important perk here, so I would focus mostly on trying to get that if you don't want to grind your life away in Iron Banner. An honorable mention is Zen Moment, especially for controller players, since SMGs can be pretty hard to use on controller. I'm personally not a controller player, but I'm sure it can help out a lot with that stability. The rest of the video is me using the weapon in this strike, so if you liked the video, let me know, subscribe if you want, and have a good one.